So, I watched what I would call the most irritating superhero film ever. I'm talking about Spider-Man Lotus. A few months ago, I saw the teaser trailer of this film, got to know that the movie was crowdfunded and made by the most anti-racist YouTuber on the planet. I was really impressed by all those Spidey swing shots in his trailer. Then I have been eagerly waiting for Spider-Man Lotus to come out and wanted to fully support and speak highly about it. But then I finally saw this movie and I'm so fucking disappointed. It's a two hour long Spider-Man film with nothing but everybody just crying and complaining throughout the film. The movie is about Peter Parker trying to rise above his grief of losing Gwen Stacy and reconnect with his friends and that's the plot of the film, nothing more. And this guy, Harry, this guy was the most irritating character for me in the whole film. He loses his father, gets depressed, starts taking pills, doesn't see any of his closed ones and yet he's the one who does all the drama. I was like mofo, if you want to die then just die, I don't care. The first half of Spider-Man Lotus just sucks. It was so boring. Boring is actually an understatement. The film's entire first half was just all its characters crying. Peter crying for Gwen, Harry crying for his father and MJ crying for... Wait, why the fuck was MJ crying? Maybe because she didn't get two innocent boys to bounce back and forth on. Like the Raimi movies. I mean, good for them. That lady is a bad omen. Ask Toby and Tom. I think this is the first ever Spider-Man film where I liked the character of Flash Thompson. He was the only character I liked in the entire film. The guy was just so chill, being polite to everybody, getting ready for the army, willing to sacrifice his life for his country, while all those dumb asses were just crying for god knows what. And I swear, by the time this particular scene came in the movie, I was just bored as fuck. I literally yawned while watching a Spider-Man film. Can you believe it? It was supposed to be a superhero film with some action and some drama, but it had almost no action and way too much drama. The only emotional scene I liked in the whole film was that whole sequence where Peter meets Tim, a terminally ill kid who's such a big fan of Spider-Man, where they both spend some time and play. That was actually a good scene. The rest of the movie was just all over the places. No plot, no villain, no motive and no Spider-Man stuff. The movie's action is just so bad. Holy shit, I can't believe a Spider-Man film and that too made in 2023 can have bad action scenes. The movie literally had badly choreographed and badly shot action scenes. In the beginning, there's this opening fight sequence where Spidey fights Shocker and a bunch of goons. Now let me be clear, I was not expecting this sequence to be some big budget VFX heavy crazy over the top Spider-Man movie fight. I just wanted it to have some good fight choreography, some good hand to hand combat, that's it and they didn't manage to pull even that much off. I have no complaints with its CGI effects but the way that fight was shot was just so bad. Just look how lazy and forced that spin kick looks and how much that hoodie guy just overacted doing a cartwheel fall for a pathetic kick like that. All this action scene had was just this guy throwing webs and doing flips, that's it. Then there's this Spider-Man vs Goblin fight scene which was full of shaky cam and jump cuts. If you follow this channel you know how much I hate those two things in an action scene. I was like dude you are doing a super villain vs superhero fight sequence. There should be some chaos and and that's all that this action sequence had. Next, let's move on to the film's climax action sequence. Wait, the film didn't have any climax action sequence. It was the first ever superhero movie I watched in my entire life which had no climax. Literally no climax. If you couldn't show us a big superhero vs supervillain fight, then you should have at least given us a bank robbery action sequence or a roadside action sequence, even a rooftop action sequence, anything. How the fuck could Spider-Man be truly back if he's not back at fighting crime? How? So at the end, all I want to say is, I knew Spider-Man Lotus was a fan film and I had my expectations from that film according to that fact and, and still I was disappointed. I'm not saying they shouldn't have shown us emotional drama. It is really important for an inspirational film, but Spider-Man Lotus just had too much of it. And the film just didn't show us the purpose for which Peter Parker became Spider-Man, which was helping the needy and fight crime. The film failed to show that side of Spider-Man to us. Anyway, these were my thoughts on Spider-Man Lotus. Now you let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. 
If you liked this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and stay updated of my upcoming videos by subscribing to Style and Punch and following us on Instagram. Take care and see you in another video.